Anyway, let's get back to the game. Um, so because of that, Temporal Tower is within the Hidden Land, which is, in and of itself, uh, is only accessible under specific conditions. Riven, by chance you still have possession of a Relic Fragment. You know about that, too? I guess I shouldn't be that surprised. We, we know by now that Groval's from the other universe. Okay. That's the one. Riven, you must hold on to your Relic Fragment. What is this music? Hold on. I haven't heard this before. This is cool. Okay. So we got to hold on to Relic Fragment. That will be the key to reaching Temporal Tower. Really? Yes, really. In my time, your Relic Fragment was used to activate the an identical pattern found in at the end of Brine Cave. Wigglytuff's guild should know how to reach this location, and it would be wise to use the guild support if we can. That said, Wigglytuff most likely has not yet realized the nature of Dark Rise's plan, and certainly not of your Relic Fragment. Therefore, I need to introduce myself to Wigglytuff and explain this, albeit in a discreet way. Still not sure if Wigglytuff or anyone from the guild witnessed what Team Charm and I did to you. So I'll instead meet with Wigglytuff once he eventually decides to speak with a Pokemon named Lapras. Oh yeah, what happened at Team Charm anyway? Nobody knows, apparently. <laughs> I'm going to go prepare to leave and reach Lapras. I may return in order to leave a message for this group. If so, I will leave that message here in Sharpedo Bluff. You want us to stay here? I can't do that. What if Team Charm comes back? They probably won't want to get back at me since, you know, I messed them up real good. I need to find some place that isn't in town to stay at. That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> that sounds like a personal problem. Holy shit. Grovile hates Breloom over here. Damn. Uh, but whoa, whoa, whoa. I can't believe it. Mr. Stoic Guy decided to crack a joke. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> we can help you find a place, Breelum. That'd be great. That solves that issue. I will be taking my leave then. Good luck. Crowfile really is girl bossing. Damn. That was a strange fade into the treasure town music. Okay. Okay, we should be good to go. Where do we start looking? One thing that I was thinking about. I may have an idea of where to find uh, where we can find Shaman. You do? I think that we need to go back to Horn Valley. Amphras told the cafe that they already surveyed this spot. They didn't survey it enough. It did seem like they gave up a little early, huh? Well, it sounds like you're onto something, so you should probably go there as soon as you can. I wish I could help, but honestly, I probably shouldn't travel that far before I figure out somewhere to stay. I'd like to stay somewhere that I know is safe. I'll find something, though, and get a hold of you somehow. You should come with me. Team AD Hey! AWD! Woo! Hello, Weavile. You sure do like popping out, out of nowhere, huh? A friend here needs a place to stay and we'll even guide him through the forest. Weavile, why are you here? This is so, so sudden. Word spreads quickly around town. As you should know, I knew that they would do something to you and, uh, I wanted help. She's a friend. I hope you realize that there, there aren't many town dwellers I'd do this for. Okay. <laughs> Yo, should I be trusting her or what? You can trust Weavile. She's helped us before, even when she had plenty of chances to turn on us. She just acts like that. <laughs> Watch your tongue. Follow me, new guy. Wait! Uh, Weavile, I was just wondering. Get to the point. <laughs> right. Uh, Weavile, before we met you, we were told that you've interacted with Darkrai before. Back then, I could look past it, since it seemed like you really wanted to help us. But is that true? Have you met Darkrai? I don't even know who that is. Who told you that? Team Charm. <laughs> of course. Who else would it be? I have no reason to work with you if you still believe them. The way that you reacted, uh, respected us, I really thought that you were different from the other town dwellers. Maybe you still could be. You don't even, you don't even realize that I've already helped you two. More than once. Oh? More than once, huh? Wait! What's your deal? It's a long story. So, about your place to stay. Don't sweat that. Worst comes to worst, I could probably end up in a waterfall cave or something. I'd really rather not be there, but... Hey, definitely secluded enough. Forget all this worrying back and forth. Just assume that I'm chilling there. <laughs> Next time I see you, you better tell me about the shaman. We will. Are you sure that we could go to Horn Valley before we return to the guild? We already snuck out of the guild and missed the morning address. If we come back, do you really think a chat out would let us? Okay, you have a point. <laughs> let's go, let's go. All right. I mean, Raven was just asking a question, but let's be honest. It was a question based on, like, a stereotype we knew to 
basically not be true, or we, we expect it to not be true. I'm not sure that we've all told the truth there, though. I think we've all had reason to lie about not meeting Darkrai. Okay, Babu, it looks like we made it. I forgot how long it took us to make it here the last time. Yeah, but it'll be worth it. Now we can finally find out. Now we can go even further beyond where we did last time. What lies beyond that opening? Oh god, please don't be a harder dungeon that I don't have access to the town for. Ugh, this path's so dark. We've been on it for so long. We've been going the right... Oh, what's, what's that up ahead? Yay! All right, it's time to go say hi to the shaman. That's true, Riven's literally a fire type. Like, what, what the fuck? <laughs> All right, storage time. Um, What do I not need? I don't need the use TM. I can't store use TM. That's good to know. Uh, I have an insomniscope. They literally gave us the insomniscopes. That's kind of funny. Let's see how hard this dungeon is. <sighs> don't have Grovile and uh, Breloom to rely on. Road to Shaman Village. Oh, God. Oh, it's birds. That makes sense, actually. That makes a lot of sense. I think it's sunny. I can't tell if it is sunny or if I'm just, if it's just a bright color set, but it looks kind of sunny. But my, my water type moves don't seem weaker. That's the big thing. So I don't know if it's sunny. Who knows? I'll have to check at the beginning of next, next uh, ex episode or next floor, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Holy cow. That, that previous dungeon messed with me big time. Is it sunny? There's no sunny effect. Okay. It's not sunny. Uh, I mean, goodness is it seems like we're doing, Oh, what the fuck? Why did that do 90 damage? Let's not let that happen again. Yeah, Riven has actually never taken a shower. It really sucks. We, I've, I've lived in the dorm with him for ages. He smells so bad. Ooh, new move for Riven. Hell yeah, pop off. Ooh, rollout. Really like the rollout idea. I don't know what I should replace it with. I, we're not going to a ghost dungeon again, so we don't need Wide Slash. We don't need Wide Slash. We can, we can replace ro Wide Slash with rollouts. That's uh, that's the smart move, I think. Yeah, rollout is very powerful. I love rollout. It's uh, it doesn't need to be that strong. This seems to be a flying type dungeon. It it, it might just be a bird dungeon, you know. Every, all the birds in the game are in this. I think whatever it is, it could be a normal type dungeon, but either way, they're exclu. Well, I was gonna say they're exclusively doing Pokemon that can fly, like exclusively birds. Uh, I think Jumpluff is the exception. Jumpluff clearly cannot, uh, is not a bird. I thought it was just normal birds. Okay, it's a flying type. That's weird. That's weird that they had a Jumpluff in here. Like, all the other Pokemon are bird birds. And they're just a random Jumpluff for no reason. But hey, we'll take it. Why not? Yay! Ooh, new move. Hell yeah. Superpower. What does this do? I actually don't know. Inflicts damage, but it also reduces the user. Oh, it's strong as hell but it makes me weaker. I don't think that's worth it. I think I'm gonna hold on to Slash. I think Slash is better. How far through this are we gonna get? Because honestly, this seems so much easier than the previous dungeon we had, which is scary. Okay, well, this might be a bad situation. Uh, can we, no, Swallow, don't swallow my items. Can we make Riven exclusively use uh, Lava Plume right now? If so, that'd be dope. That'd be pretty, that'd be pretty rad right now. Oh, sweet. Noctowl is confused. That's good, too. That'd be pretty rad. I... Okay. Sure. Please kill the bird. Please kill the bird. Okay, well, first of all, let's give let's give Riven other moves back. There we go. Okay, and this bird should be easy to kill. Ah, oh, the rollout missed. Sad. Tragic. Okay, let's go ahead. Take that. There we go. Honestly, I think that was possibly the biggest threat we'll face in this dungeon. I think just that that trio was laid out very poorly for us, and we survived it, so I don't think we're going to have any other issues. Okay, come on. No, don't attack Pokemon without need. Thank you. Yes, being sleepless is definitely uh, a problem for us right now, despite us having an item that would literally allow us to not become sleepless. I think now's a good time to go ahead and use a Max Elixir, if I have one. Yeah, I have many max elixirs, so let's just go ahead and take care of that. And uh, now I get my birds. Now I get my items back. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, a snowy, a snowy owl would be great. Let's do an Orenberry too. Fuck it, why not? I need it. I could use the help. <laughs> there we go. Yay! 
money. Honestly, I'm surprised we're doing this well in this dungeon. Like, the, with how poorly we were doing the previous dungeon, with how it took me two hours to beat that, and I'm just grooving through this one. This one's fine. I'm having no issues whatsoever. Oh yeah, I forgot just to UI was an owl. <laughs> Not gonna lie. I fully forgot. Um... Bringing Riven forward probably wasn't the best idea now. Now I think about it. That probably wasn't a good move. Can we... Can we warp Riven? Can I use an orb on Riven? I don't think I can use orbs on Riven. Okay, let's just make Riven specifically use Smokescreen on... Actually, wait, no. Jump off is... Okay, I see what's going to happen. I'm going to do this. And then he's going to use a Fire-type move. It's going to work. There we go. Okay. Uh, I'm like, there was there were a few ways that we could have done that. I'm like, I'm glad we went with the, the correct one. Yeah, it really, I... I don't know why they changed Decidueye for, uh, for Legends Arceus. Please, please, please no. Okay, I I prefer the original, uh, the original Decidueye to the one in Legends Arceus to Hisuian. Uh, the Hisuian one just it's not. I miss the ghost. The ghost is nice. The ghost is just a good element of any Pokemon. You know, ghost Pokemon are cool. I I said that we probably wouldn't have many worries, but apparently Riven's proving me wrong with their low health. Thank you for the worry seed. I love not being able to sleep. <laughs> Getting dizzy from hunger. Damn, sure wish I had some sort of, like, company that would deliver me food uh, or something like that. You know, I could I could uh, sign up using a code that uh, is on screen right now that I don't remember the specific numbers for uh, because I'm too small to get, like, a specific, like, ODISF thing as my number, but still, uh, you know, I, I, if only there was some link to, to some weird, I, I'm, I'm, I had it and I'm falling. I'm slipping so hard. This is taking me so long to get where I'm trying to go. You know where I'm trying to go. Hello, Fresh. <laughs> Do the thing. Stop being hungry. I've been trying so hard to get to that, that sponsor transition forever. And the previous dungeon, it was hard, but it was too short. And I never, I never became hungry. So I never had the opportunity to use that. <laughs> Oh no, my belly's empty! What a shame! <laughs> I actually don't have food, do I? I have an orange berry and that's it. Do I not- how do I not have an apple? Shit! Okay, I- I was joking, but I- I genuinely don't have food. That's interesting. <laughs> not gonna lie, I got ice cream cake for my graduation. Uh, and I'm- I'm still eating it at least one slice a day. It's a good decision. <laughs> All right, you know what? Let's go ahead and eat an orange berry. It's it's not much for the belly, but it's gonna heal me and it's gonna be better than nothing. Uh, one last exam? Hell yeah! You're gonna rock that last exam. I'll uh, gummy. Okay, we'll take a gummy too. Next time I'm getting hungry, we'll take a gummy. I'm I was joking about needing to get hungry, but damn, the game just heard me and is like, okay, fine, we'll give you hungry. I chose not to, and I'm glad. That was a good decision. Uh, fuck. All right, we're gonna eat another orange berry. Actually, you know what? We're not going to eat an orange berry. We're going to eat the gummy. The gummy's going to give me more belly than the orange berry is. Um, there we go. Okay, and we should... This should be good. I'm going to take that orange berry. <laughs> Thank you. Can we sit here? Wait a bit. Okay, there we go. We'll take the ground. Huh. How? How does the gummy not give me enough hunger? I thought the gummy filled the belly a decent amount. Fuck. I'm struggling for food right now. Jesus. Oh, thank fuck. I'll buy another gummy. Why not? Let's take it. Do I have enough money for it? I have ample money for it. Okay, hold on. Let's do some math. The Sky Gummy is 800. Reviver Seed is 1600. 1600 plus, or 1600 plus another 800. That's going to be 2,400? 2,400 is... Less than I have. I will take the Reviver Seed. If I can find something to swap it with. Let's stop the... I don't fucking care about a goddamn box. Okay, boom. Hi. Yes, you'll take the 200. Uh, you'll... I will buy that. I have a Reviver Seed. I have a Gummy. I should have food now, thankfully. So we'll take the Sky Gummy. It's going to fill me up just a little bit more so I don't go hungry. And I didn't even need it. I didn't need that Gummy. It's okay, I took the gummy anyway. I like this music. This music's a banger. This song is so good. So now, I guess we go, uh... We continue onward. We've, we find the shaman again. 
Uh, Far Road. That's an interesting name for it. Um, I have all my moves back, which is nice. Okay, well, I got a big apple, which is nice. I like that. Can we... I don't need this. Let's swap for the gummy. Riven, can you please do something about this? Thank you. That didn't... That didn't kill him? Jesus. Riven got 621 experience points. That's funny. That's really funny. If you don't understand why that's funny, I'm sorry to break your innocence. <laughs> that is true. Yep. Riddles, you could order HelloFresh. I'm I'm ordering HelloFresh with my code tonight. Honestly, at the end of the stream, we're we're ordering for me, and I'm going to you're you're going to help me decide what I'm ordering. Yay! Okay, we're done there. Awesome. Yeah, I forgot that the the after part of that is always a thing. Hey, Babu, do you see that path ahead? This looks different from the rest of the forest. Could it be? Yeah! It's the end of the path. Oh, wait, this, is, this isn't this Shaman Forest. That looks like it could be an opening somewhere else. Babu, I think that, that there really is something here. Maybe Shaman is just a bit further away. Ah, travelers? <gasps> Shaman! Oh, it's such a pleasure to see new faces. Especially those that look like they've had a long journey. Aww. I love this. I love this so much. So, what brings you out here, strangers? Well, my partner and I are looking for Pokemon named Shaman. Do you know where to find them? You and your... partner. I see. Um, are you okay? Oh, it's nothing! Oh, no. Shaman knows that I'm dark gray, and they're going to be prejudiced against us. Ooh. This is going to hurt. Oh, it's nothing. I just got a little distracted, that's all. You two said that you're looking for Shaman, right? Well, look no further. You're speaking to him right now. Yay! <laughs> Finally, after all of that, we're starting to get somewhere. Shaman, we need your help. The world may be in danger right now, and only you can help us. Right, right. Your name is Babu. Why didn't you... Why don't you... Oh, they know my name! No! <laughs> oh... No, they know my name. They were prepared for me. Sure. So you're saving the world, huh? What kind of idiot do you take me for? Oh! Hey! Well, why do you attack Babu? You two shouldn't have come here. There's a reason why one of us is always waiting outside the village. And it isn't just to welcome strangers. Each of us have been having the same dream night after night. But it's Hotodile who wants to disrupt time. And last night our dream told us something else. This Totodile also took down Cresselia? We haven't heard from dear Cresselia in a long time. And now we all know why. Not only was she a close friend of ours, she was always a target of evildoers. I know that you're that same Totodile, and I'm here to make sure that you never enter Shaman Village. <laughs> Babu? Shaman. I... I don't want to fight you. <laughs> I'm so okay, Riven shocked. That makes sense. <laughs> oh yeah? Why should I believe you? You won't trick me with anything that you say. I'm about to make you feel sorry that you ever hurt Cresselia. Oh fuck. <laughs> Let's go. I uh we're gonna have to fight Shaman. At least it's just one. Oh god! Shaman's fast. Okay. Um well, good news is I have a Reviver Seed and multiple Oran Berries. Uh, we have a Stun Seed. Let's go ahead and use that real quick. Yeah, for real. He's he's very mad. Uh, can we get Riven to use Smoke Screen right now? That'd be great. I'm going to use... Oh, that was Slash. I meant Scary Face. Um, okay, Whiffer's good. Scary Face... Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Speed didn't change. We can't change their speed. We can't change their speed. Okay. Hmm. So what can I do then? Let's let Riven start using Flamethrower, I think, is the right move. Actually, Rollout wouldn't be too bad, because it's also Skyform. Literally, all their moves would be great right now. Okay, so let's... Uh, are, are any of my water moves going to be good? Because I think it's Grass and Sky right now, so I don't think the water moves are going to be good. Yeah, do I have any Seeds? I have Oran Berries, Heal Seed, Reviver Seed. No, nothing else. Okay. I guess I could do Silver Spikes. That's not going to be as effective. Yeah, Rollout's going to be real good right now. Okay, well, if it hits. 
Uh, let's just keep doing uh, Slash. I think Slash is going to be good. Whiffer, oof, yep. Uh, okay, Riven, you're going to need your smoke screen again. And while you do that, I'm going to go ahead and give you an Orenberry. So let's go ahead and make sure that Riven doesn't die. Excellent. Yeah, we we win this. I just, it might take a little bit because we're, we're, we're pretty much relying entirely on Riven for this. Um, actually, can we rely... Oh, nice. That's a good run. That's a really good run. Seven ninety nine. With Scepter specifically, that's that's powerful. Scepter terrifies me. Roll out, please. God damn it. Okay, let's let's give Rive another moves, I guess. Uh, because rollout's just missing. That's fine. Ah, uh, of course the one time. Okay, let's go ahead. Smoke screen specific. I think all of my moves but slash are worthless right now. They don't do anything. Like, I, scary face isn't gonna isn't going to have any effect. Because of the ability. Uh, the water type moves are weak. There we go. Okay, you know what? We got it. We took care, we took care of that shaman. Not much of an issue. Urgh. Shaman, are you done fighting? Please, listen to us. We just want to talk. You'll have to talk to them first. No. No! no! <laughs> There's more of them! And they snuck behind us. Maybe I can't stop you from destroying our village, but I can't delay you for long enough. Once we band together, no Pokemon can overcome us. Ah, but what are we gonna do? Holding off just one shaman was hard enough. I... I need to think of something. We're surrounded! They aren't gonna wait for us. It's about time that I found you two. Shut up! Okay, I'm surprised that this happened. Who are you supposed to be? I'm Chadot, head of intelligence at Wigglytuff's guild, guildmaster Wigglytuff's right-hand Pokemon, and I ask you to leave our apprentices alone. Do you realize exactly what kind of Pokemon your apprentices are? Well, I don't doubt that these two may have brought you some trouble. They're still valued members of our guild. Reform Dad, hell yeah! <laughs> we will leave this place and return back to our guild at once. Er, if that's what you want, of course. We'll hold you to that, chat off of Wigglytuff's guild. And you must never come back to Shaman's village. Understood! Whew. I can't believe that worked. <laughs> chat out, you saved us! Yes. I Yes, I did. While well, you two weren't inside the guild during today's morning address, and the guildmaster noticed, I thought that I was... Eh. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought would happen to me. <laughs> He thought that Wigglytuff was going to murder him. But I'm not mad. Nope, I'm I'm not mad at all. There will be no punishment for you two sneaking out of the guild last night. But you need to come back to the guild with me. And you need to tell us everything that you know about Cresselia. Okay. I'm glad that he's at least not being a jerk anymore. He's partially... Hard to believe that that entire, like, dream sequence happened in the span of one night. For the rest of the... the re oh, the Rise of Darkrai. Damn, what a title. Hell yeah. That's cool. What? What was that again? Hey, hey, it sounded like Darkrai's been involved with more than we thought. There's the Nightmares, and then they knew about Cresselia getting taken to a different world, too. And now they're gonna go into that tower? There, why Team Spears went missing, too. That's that's just not right to do. Oh my gosh, I know, right? Darkrai's such a creep. So many Pokemon we're getting messed with. All for no reason. Even Team Charm got... <laughs> let, me trick that, uh, let me try that again. Even Team Charm got tricked by Darkrai. <laughs> Badoof said nothing. Ahem. <laughs> Set it out, everybody. Abu, Riven, why in the world did you wait so long to tell me about any of this? Obviously, if I had the chance to understand precisely what was happening, the guild would have helped you long ago. Instead, you put yourself in serious danger. And to finally get you to be honest with me, I had to put myself at risk, too. Chatot? Oh my gosh, I'm so glad that the note you read was right, Chatot. Note? What note? This morning, a note was discreetly placed in front of the guild entrance. In this note, it was explained that the two of you would be heading through the dark opening at the end of Horn Valley. Nashik has suspicious of this report, since you two shouldn't have known how to find that opening on your own, and also because a non-guild member claimed to know your location so shortly after your disappearance. But, in that moment, I was, er, not at my calmest. Do you know who wrote that note? While the note had no completed name attached to it, it did contain a set of initials that even I failed to recognize. L.W. L.W.? 
Whoever this LW is, we should be very grateful for their generosity. LW? You think... Oh! Our food has been prepared for a while now, everybody. Thank you, Chimeco, for giving me a perfect transition. <laughs> Chimeco uh, ordered HelloFresh, and that's what they prepared for us tonight. That's what, that's what we're getting. Who's the LW? Who would the LW be? Lover of Wiggly Tough? True. True. Honestly, you know what? Wiggly Tough's boyfriend. Welcome back, Lady Weavile. You took your time making it here. Do you have a nice day with the town dwellers? Very funny. Where do you two leave, uh, Team Charm? We set them in front of Murky Forest. I remember telling you to put them anywhere that isn't here. We weren't going to waste time finding a perfect spot. We wanted to make it back here before sunset. Lady Weavile. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. Team Charm was still asleep when we left them there. They might know that we're the ones that dragged them out, but who cares? We both know that they won't do anything about it if it means they had to come down here. Do you know why we've made it this far, Drapian? It's not because we get cocky. And it's not us that I'm worried about. Stick to the plan. Yeah, Chimeco, honestly, HelloFresh, they prepare a lot of food here today. Like, look at all look at all these berries that they had to prepare. Look at all that. That's a that's a ton of food. And of course they prepared it all from HelloFresh. Delivered straight to our door. <laughs> perfect, perfect transition. I'm very good at this. I'm getting better. <laughs> You're so good to be back in this room, huh? Around this time last night, I, I woke up to meet. Why are words so hard? <laughs> Around this time last night, I woke up uh, to meet with Team Charm. What a crazy day. It's unfortunate that Shaman isn't willing to help us. Hi, Voltage. Welcome. But hey, we uh, we finally found our lead, didn't we? I haven't thought of it like that. And not only that, the guilds were going to help us make it to Darkrai. Even Chadot wants to help. I still can't believe it. But, uh, Fabu, I was just wondering. When we met with Shaman, I noticed that you didn't want to fight him when he, until he attacked first. I get why you held back, but it was kind of unexpected, you know? Where'd that come from? Well, it didn't feel natural for me to act that way, but I guess that's just what I wanted to do. Well, it didn't feel natural for me to act that way, but I guess that's just what I wanted to do. Does that make sense? Yeah, it does. Well, I guess that we should get ready for bed. Good night, Babu. Aw, look at them. They're so cute. They're so gay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we're getting some chat out Wiggly Tough news, huh? Chat out, do you have just a moment? Oh, wait. Badoof? Shouldn't you be asleep right now? You need to be ready and alert for tomorrow's morning address. Oh, I, I won't be too long, I promise. My god, third Darkrai. If Badoof is also Darkrai, I would cry. What's Badoof gonna tell Chat out? Chat out, this has been keeping me up at, uh, tonight, and I reckon I should tell you about it. Team Spirits might just be in trouble tomorrow. There's a group of Pokemon that met in the middle of town. Hey, that's what that meeting was! That was like two nights ago, technically speaking. And well, uh, everyone was having them dreams, of course. Kind of hard to ignore. Point is, tomorrow's when they were planning to do something to them. What? There's always something, isn't there? Bidoof, can't you just deal with this on your own? Sounds like you're aware of who these Pokemon are, so you should tell them what we know. Well, I'd love to chat up, but... You already told me that I'm headed to Applewood tomorrow. And, well, that's sort of an all-day journey for me. I'm not sure if I'd be able to do both of those before the sun goes down. What do you mean, not sure? Uh, uh, well... And of all the other princesses who are busy tomorrow... <laughs> oh my god, I love my, uh... I love my sound effects. It's great. We're on a dangerously low and perfect apple, so that can't be delayed any longer. But if Boodoof doesn't calm down this angry mob, who knows what will happen to them? Uh, I can still... Try to do both of those as best as I can, of course. Just focus on speaking with that group of Pokemon tomorrow. The perfect apple retrieval that I will assign to you will er, be handled. Okay, I'm glad that he's prioritizing us over Wigglytuff. I feel like Wigglytuff's going to understand that. <laughs> I'm an Adam, it's morning. Let's go ahead and see how this works. Um, I think we, I think we have time for one more story arc. Ahem. So to summarize... Everyone should be aware of their duties today. It's especially important to complete jobs for the guild after so many of days of us searching for both Dark Ray and Team Spirits. In the wake of Team Spirits' information that we received yesterday, the guild master is currently preparing to visit an old friend and hopefully learn more about the hidden land. In addition, I'll be leaving the guild for a short period of day to run a personal errand. Don't be alarmed, though. Uh, though you may anticipate the guild falling into complete madness in my absence, I will not be gone for long. 
Okay, that sounds great. <laughs> now that I got through all those extra points. Okay, Pokemon, time to get to work. Shout out! In my opinion, should have just stuck with us instead of relying on Bidoof to calm down the angry mob. I feel like that would have been the much better play, you know? Don't leave. Come stay with us and protect us, all right? I don't know what's about to happen, but I'm very scared. What's this angry mob going to be? Not here yet. Let's talk to Bidoof and the mob. Oh! Baboon Riven! This is mighty unexpected. Why is it mighty unexpected? Oh! Uh, okay, that's all he's going to say. Well, as it turns out, it really was just a trick. I know, I know, it, it was those two that told us the story, but... By golly, I believe them. They've been through a lot. They really have. I just can't stand by that old plan of ours. A lot of them would be, wouldn't, won't be what fixes the problem, yes sirree. Okay, so we're, we were listening in, in, into his, uh, his speech. Okay, okay, yep. Uh, something tells me he's not gonna successfully calm the mob. I think the mob's still gonna come for us. Talk to- Oh yeah, we can talk to Spinda. I feel like that would be a good one. Spinda helped save us after all. Welcome to Fresh- Really? She's not gonna say anything? She's not gonna say anything? Come on, Spinda. Oh, water- Actually, I wonder what happens if we go to Waterfall Cave. That's where Breloom said that he is. If we find Breloom in Waterfall Cave, I think that would be hype as hell. That'd be really cool. I feel like that would be a very, very difficult thing to program. And for something that I don't think many, many of us will actually, like many players would actually revisit Waterfall Cave. Honestly, I wish I could do a cooking stream. I kind of want to, I want to see, I don't have a good enough camera for it. Right now I'm just using this shitty little webcam. Maybe if enough of you, you know, buy, if, if enough of you subscribe, using my link and they pay me enough money I could buy an actual high quality camera and put it over there in the kitchen and do a, a cooking stream that'd be hype I'd be down for that yes okay so that's the end of that mission so now are we gonna have are we gonna deal with the angry mob are we gonna have to fight the angry mob now I don't know what this means we were searching for reloom oh shit I should have you're right I should have gone to the end of the dungeon damn it I forgot about that. I forgot that was the goal. Look, I get distracted so easily. <laughs> um, ooh, okay. Well, Grovile, it seems that you were right. Quickly Tough wanted to meet me here tonight. Oh, you're a Pokemon that I haven't met before. Are you one of Lapras's friends? Quickly Tough, this is Grovile. He and I have been discussing some important, something important over the past few days. Days? Plural? I suspect that it could be the same thing that led you to come here. Are they not going to tell show us our conversation? God damn it! I wanted to see that conversation. Okay, is angry mob? No, we didn't have to deal with angry mob. Okay, that's fine. Aha! There's one final point to be discussed this morning. Good master has obtained new information about the hidden land. What? Allegedly, in order to enter the hidden land, some form of physical proof is required. From what the guild master has been told, this proof takes the form of a strange inscription. Riven, when you first joined the guild, master, uh, the guild, the guild master noticed that you were carrying a certain rock with you. Do you still happen to possess that rock? I I do still have it. Well, can you show it all to, to all of us then? Yes, we can. Wow, this is amazing. It's just like he said. Shadow, we've seen this pattern before. Don't you remember where we saw it? Y yes. The sea inlet to the northwest. Inside Brian Cave. But Guildmaster, that place... Yes, I know. That vicious bandit was there. A vicious... Bandit? By golly! Everyone, please listen. I once saw the same pattern deep inside a place called Brian... Okay, so this is almost converging back with the main story. This is back with, uh... With Explores the Sky, almost. I think we can discover more by taking Riven's Rock there. However, there's one problem. A vicious bandit lurks there. Yeah, we know, we know. Hey, hey, we're not about to let that scare us. But that place is challenging. Everyone should take time to get ready. I set off for Brian Cave tomorrow. I mean, I guess inevitably, since we're going to uh, Temporal Tower, we have to go to Brian Cave. I was fully expecting this to be a bit more of a, a plot day, but see, Chadot, I told you that one of them was to the Chosen. Wow, this is all just like Grovile told us. The Relic Fragment really is the key. We're going to Brian Cave. And it sounds like Grovile talked to Wigglytuff. Tomorrow, we should check in with Grovile and Breedland before we leave. Because of that, we may have we may not have time to visit town in the morning. Make sure that we're prepared for Brian Cave before coming back to Guild tonight. Let's go! Okay, so let's go ahead. We're going to Sharpedo Bluff right now, I think, to try and... No crowd. 
Hey you, yesterday your guildmate Badoof told us about that Darkrai. They must really have it out for you to, uh, to be causing all those nightmares. That's true. You know what's good for you, you'll watch your back. Even if we aren't planning anything, there's others out there. That's true. Okay, so I'm glad they're on my side now. You knew about Darkrai all along, didn't you? Why didn't you speak up, huh? We've, we've looked ridiculous these past few days. Just getting played like puppets, if Badoof were telling the truth. I guess I probably wouldn't know how to convince anyone either. Hey, hey! Okay, yep. Uh, I know that a lot of us in the guild have been talking about you much. Uh... Yeah, yeah, okay, we're, they're just being kind. They're, they're being kind. They're starting to li liven up with us. Love that. All right, let's go ahead and see if Breloom's here. Ooh, there's a note. Hello, it's Groval's. Oh, not Breloom. Okay, Groval's letter. Would you like to read it? Yes, I would. All right, to Baboon Riven. This is an, my update for you. As you may already know, I managed to meet with both Lapras and Wigglytuff. Based on what I told him, your guild should be currently planning to journey to Brian Cave. While Lapras and Wigglytuff are partially aware of my identity, I only told them enough to believe what is necessary. Please do not tell either of them any more about me if the situation may arise. I'm beginning to become worried about any uh, possible unforeseen effects of my intervention in this world. However, I do believe that Lapras is a trusted source of knowledge, and as a result, I'm leaving to ask some questions. I have full confidence that I will meet with you, you two tomorrow at the far end of Brian Cave. Darkrai has been absent from my dreams for the past few nights. While that should instill confidence, it instead raises suspicion. Be fully prepared for whatever Darkrai may, be, may have planned for us. Good luck on your end. Are we going to talk to him? Okay. I I don't know what else we need to do to, to prepare. That's fine. The mission. Okay, can we... How do I skip a day? Can I just skip a day real quick? I'm, I'm stocked up. I've got the things I need. So I'm supposed to go to Treasure Town and get ready. But, like, I went to Treasure Town. I, I really don't know what else we need to do to prepare. Like, I think we're, we're stocked up. Yeah, two Reviver Seeds, sure. We'll, we'll take them. Oh, I, I can only afford one. Damn. Fine, we'll buy one Reviver Seed. I have a Golden Bow in the in storage that I could sell, I guess. And we go Gold Ribbon right here. $2,000. Awesome. I will take that. And then we'll buy the other Reviver Seed. Beach Cave, I guess. Fuck it. What else can we do? I don't, I don't know how else to stall a day. How do how do you stall a day? Uh, I don't even need to do moves, do I? I could just yeah, one hit with my basic attack at this point. This is how this is how you escape a day. I forgot how easy this dungeon is. Like this dungeon was easier, I think easier than the the original Beach Cave. Just inherently due to its design. All right, we clear Beach Cave. Yay! I, I some people are trying to make VR Mystery Dungeon. I'm I, I'm excited to see when that happens. Um. So what's this cutscene gonna be? Hello, Lapras again. Grovile's back. I'm starting to think that you wouldn't show up tonight. I'm sorry. I need to take care of a matter in Treasure Town before traveling. There's no need to apologize. What do you wish to speak to me about, Grovile? I must admit, I'm fairly surprised that you reached out to me again. Seems that your uh, business fully concerned of speaking to Wigglytuff. Is there something that I'm not aware of? You seem to be knowledgeable about the flow of time and its functionality. Is that correct? There are some things I know. Not enough to call myself an expert, more, more than the average Pokemon. You're already aware that I came to this world through the passage of time. But that is not my entire story. This is not the first time that I've traveled to the past. I previously say help prevent the prevent <laughs> The planet's paralysis, and its effects on my time along with it. This should have resulted in me being erased from this new future, and for a brief period I was. But somehow I returned to existence. As it was explained to me, this was due to the work of a higher power. Are we going to see that cut? Yeah, okay, we're seeing the cutscene again. Nice. So, Helga, I have something I want to ask. Earlier when you did not disappear, you said that it wasn't a miracle, but it was thanks to you. Was it thanks to you? No. It was not me. I don't have the power necessary to stop you from disappearing. However... Being higher than myself, that being's power could have done it. This was surely that power at work, I believe. However, it appears that this may have had an additional effect as well. This time, when I, chose again, when I again chose to return to the past, somehow I found myself in a different past than before. And I'm still not sure how that's possible. That is quite the revelation, Grovile. When you disappeared, were you the only Pokemon affected by this? No, there were others as well, including Dialga of my time. We all returned at once, however. Hmm. This could have rash. This could be a rash conclusion on my end, but is it possible that this same Dialga also existed in your original past? Or are you going on with this? No! Don't do this to me! Come on! Don't give me a bit of an explanation. Give me the full explanation, game. 
Uh, you know what? I'm beginning to think that maybe it's not a good idea to start the, uh, the, whatever it's called. It might not be a good idea to start the Brian Cave stuff tonight, so let's go ahead. I'm gonna exit the title screen. Fuck it, why not? Let's buy, let's get me my HelloFresh. I'm excited. I want to get food. <laughs> I'm hungry.